Hey, praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we all shall continue to what? Rejoice and be glad in it. This is Associate Pastor KD Sanders on KD's Inspire, an opportunity to share the real word with real people, dealing with real seasons in their life, and I thank God for each and every one of you, amen, on this special day. Why is it special? Because uh, many of you across the country, your students have already returned to school. I'm from down south, so I already know that down south, um, they probably went to school at the beginning of August. But up here in the, in the north, in Michigan, in a lot of areas up um, further north, school starts on Tuesday, amen, it's Tuesday, September the 6th, so a lot of students are going to be returning back to school, and um, I don't know about you, but I really feel in starting things off on a fresh start. I believe in setting a foundation, whatever your foundation is set on, then that is the tone that you set every single day. You're walking am along that foundation. You're walking in that sense of what you expect to happen. You're walking in a sense of expectation. I like that better. Um, expectation. There's something in front of you that you're trying to get to. So on this video, I just want to give a quick word of encouragement to our parents, to our educators, and to definitely our students, amen, who's returning back to school, and to let you know that what God has for you is so much greater so much greater than what the world can even offer you, amen? What God has for you is so much greater, but in order to capture that greatness, you got to do everything that you can do and everything that you have been assigned to do to be all that God has called you to be, okay? God has called you to be successful. God has called you to be on the highest level of academic excellence. God has called you to be an example. God has called you to be a leader. These are to my students, to our educators. God has called you to be to, to be an um, encourager, amen? Not, not one to cause destruction, but one that causes productions in our young people. Um, God has called our educators and our administrators to be that beacon of light for those students who may deal with darkness at home, because you never know what a student is going through when they, before they come into that building. Our parents, God has called um, our parents and our guardians in the home to be that extra bit of encouragement that when the student comes home, ask them how their day is going. Ask them how is everything with their life. Ask them, is there anything that's on their minds? Because if you do what you're supposed to do at home, then our teachers can spend more time educating and teaching and not trying to be the home guardian and the school guardian at the same time. So with all of this to put together, this is a team effort, amen. And I want you to join me. I want you to join me in declaring in our prayer that this is going to be the greatest school year that your student is going to have. And you, some of you may say, well, I don't have a student, but you know some kids that are in school. And I want you to join me. My word of God says that wherever two, wherever two or three may touch and agree on this one thing, then that thing shall I do. Amen. So I believe I got more than two or three people that would touch and agree that our students will excel to the top. Touch and agree that they would get more rewards than consequences, okay? Touch and agree that fighting and violence shall decrease all the way down to zero. I believe it can happen. Touch and agree that there shall be peace in the schools, peace in the classrooms. I believe that that can happen. Touch and agree that there will be positive communication amongst the students, amongst the staff throughout the building, positive communication wherever they go. Touch and agree that there will be safety safety in the building. When a student walks in a building, they don't have to be on alert. They don't have to walk around feeling on the edge because of what's going to happen. But because of the safety of God's protection, that all is well. And all they got to focus on is being the best. But most of all, I want you to touch and agree on success. Touch and agree on success. Success in academics. Success in behaviors. Success in everything that is taught. Everything that is delivered. And success in the seeds that are planted. I believe Hallelujah. I believe that we have the power through the power of prayer. And I believe in the power of prayer. That I believe that when we come together and we pray on a regular, consistent basis, we're sealing every gap that exists for the enemy to come in and think that he can take over our young people, take over our schools, take over their, uh, their academic success. We don't give him any room. But we're declaring today out of our mouth. Don't speak negative about it. You let everything come out of your mouth. Speak positive about our young people. Speak positive about the school. Speak positive about the education system because what you're doing is everything that the enemy has planned, you're canceling out and saying, nope, not in my school. 
In my school, there will be excellence. In my school, there will be greatness. In my school, the students will get to the highest level. You see, when you keep speaking that to the atmosphere, you're changing the atmosphere of your building. I can't wait to school tomorrow. Can't wait to go to work tomorrow because I want to be one that, that's part of the solution and not part of the problem, okay? So, I want you to join me as we pray. Father, we love you and we bless you. God, we thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for your love and for your kindness. God, we ask that you forgive us of all of our sins. God, we ask that you remove everything that's not like you, oh God, that we may be able to purely come to you um, and, and worship and with praise and make our requests known unto you. God, we are asking, oh God, as my friends and my supporters and my family, um, as they touch and agree with me, we're asking that you touch our young people getting ready to go to school. We ask that you touch their minds. We ask that you touch their attitudes, touch their behaviors, and prepare them. Whatever happened in the past, let it be gone. Whatever happened last year, it's done. Let them walk into the building with a fresh attitude, a fresh spirit, a fresh um, uh, motivation that all is going to be well this year. This will be the best year that they've ever had. No matter what grade they're in, I, we speak that into our young people right now. We pray for our parents. We pray that our parents and our guardians have the special provisions that's needed so that our kids can have what they need at home. We pray that our parents spend time with the kids. We pray that our parents and guardians communicate with the kids when they walk into the homes and they talk to them about their days and they spend time with them on homework and academics, but they don't just all leave it up to the school, but they be the parent that they should be and helping this child know, hey, you can make it no matter what. We pray for our administrators and our teachers and our staff in each and every building, letting them know that this is not just a job, but this is an assignment. This is not a job, but this is an assignment that they are on. That every day that they walk into that building, they are assigned to sow seeds and to plant seeds of greatness in each and every young person that comes through the building. I pray, oh God, that they think beyond the paycheck, that they think beyond what they're going to get every other Friday, but they think that the greatest pay is going to be when that child excels to the highest level because of the seed that was sown. I pray for our educators and our staff and our, and our administrators in each and every building. I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice that this is going to be the greatest school year that we've ever experienced. This is going to be the greatest results. Numbers are going to go up. Grades are going to go up. Hallelujah. Results are going to go up. I speak that by faith believing that you can do all things but fail. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, well, I believe that God is going to do something mighty, and I believe in the power of prayer. And if you believe that today, don't let it just happen now, but every single day, touch and agree, and let's move forward in expecting our young people to get to the greatest things in life through success and through high academics and through push and motivation that starts with us. Amen. This is Associate Pastor Katie Sanders of Katie's Inspired. Please feel free to visit my website at www, right there on the screen, mvogministries.com or my email at kdsemu at hotmail.com. Share this video. Share this video with as many as you can. We're just trying to spread a positive word to get our kids off to a good start. To all our young people, you're going to have a good year. Get ready. God bless y'all.